In flight, you had a center tank pump failure. The related procedure has been completed. The center tank pump one has been switched to off and the cross feed valve has been open. The center tank feeding memo indicates that the center tank is still feeding the engines and the fuel cross feed memo indicates that the cross feed valve is open. The status page identifies the failed pump. You are continuing in cruise. Remember that center tank pump 1 is faulty. Let's see what occurs when center tank pump 2 failure is added. On the engine warning display, the amber message, center tank pump slow pressure, means that both center tank pumps are faulty. You have the same indications as you had for center tank pump 1 failure. Low, boxed amber on the ECAM page and the amber fault light on the fuel control panel. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ECAM actions. Perform ECAM action. Observe that both tank pumps are off on the fuel overhead panel. On the ECAM fuel page, the center tank pumps are cross line amber, meaning that they have been manually shut off. The center tank quantity is boxed amber, meaning that the center tank fuel is not usable, and the fuel on board is half amber boxed, meaning that some of fuel on board is not usable. The status page indicates the following. A green message states that the center tank fuel is unusable, and, the center tank pumps are inoperative. This is indicated in amber. We learned from the ECAM actions, and the indications related to center tank pump failures that, losing one center tank pump requires the opening of the cross-feed valve, to prevent a fuel imbalance, Losing both center tank pumps means center tank fuel is unusable. Let's now review a left tank pump failure. The amber message, left tank pump 1 low pressure, on the engine warning display, means that the left tank pump 1 is faulty. The ECAM fuel page appears automatically, with the related pump indication. Note. The master caution and the single chime are not triggered as the tank has another pump for redundancy. We have switched the left tank pump to off for you. Observe. On the fuel panel, the amber fault light in the left tank pump 1 push button switch is replaced by the white off light. On the ECAM fuel page, the amber Low indication is replaced by an amber cross line, indicating that the pump is off. We are continuing in cruise. Remember that left tank pump 1 is faulty. Let's see what occurs when left tank pump 2 failure is added. The amber message, fuel left tank pump 1 plus 2 low pressure, on the engine warning display, means that both left tank pumps are faulty. The ECAM fuel page appears automatically. The next actions to do, depend on the center tank condition. If it is not empty, or if it is empty and flying above 15,000 feet. Or if it is empty and flying below 15,000 feet. In the studied failure case, the center tank is not empty and we have performed the next actions for you. The left tank pump 2 indications are the same as for the left tank pump 1 shown previously. On the status page, left tank pumps are indicated as inoperative. Note, at this time, the center tank pumps are still feeding the engines. When fuel from the left tank is required, 
refer to your documentation for gravity fuel feeding. To conclude, losing one inner tank pump is not critical, no master caution, because of redundancy, two pumps. Losing both inner tank pumps, fuel feeding is still possible by gravity, refer to your documentation. An auto feed fault caution message is triggered. If the center tank pumps do not stop, after slats extension, or after a center tank low level. Notice the corrective actions. An auto feed fault caution message is also triggered. If the center tank contents is above 250 kg, with the wing tank contents above 5000 kg, due to an abnormal control of the center tank pumps. Notice the corrective actions. Now let's see some other abnormal indications that you can have on the ECAM fuel page. If, on the engine warning display, the fuel onboard indication is displayed with two dashes across the two last digits, the fuel quantity indicator is in degraded mode. We will call the ECAM fuel page to determine which tank is affected. The ECAM fuel page is displayed. You can see that the affected tank is the left outer tank. The two amber dashes indicate a loss of accuracy of the indicated fuel quantity. Also notice that the fuel temperature can appear amber, with an ECAM message in a single chime, if a high or low limit is detected. In our case, the outer tank temperature has exceeded the low limit.